Whimsical Wanderers Chapter 1. An Unlikely Duo Once Upon a Time, in a World Filled with Peculiar Creatures there was a walking tree named Arbor and a hippo named River. Arbor had a cozy little house perched on its head like a hat, and River proudly wore a set of crocodile bones as a hat. These two unusual beings became friends, bound by the unique headpieces crafted by the same talented hat seller. As Arbor swayed gently in the breeze, it thought, I really must thank that hat seller for this lovely home on my head. It's such a comfortable place to rest. River, admiring its crocodile bone hat in the reflection of the water, agreed. Yes, my hat is quite the statement piece. The hat seller truly is a genius. One day, while Arbor and River were enjoying a leisurely stroll by the riverbank, they overheard some creatures whispering about the hat seller. Did you hear? The hat seller has been kidnapped by a villain who is jealous of their extraordinary talents. The news shook Arbor and River to their core. They knew they had to do something to save the hat seller who had given them so much joy. We must rescue the hat seller from the clutches of that villain. Arbor declared, its leaves rustling in determination. River nodded, water splashing as it reared its head. We're the perfect duo for this mission. Let's set out immediately. And so, Arbor and River embarked on a journey to save the hat seller. Their hearts filled with gratitude and their minds set on overcoming whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 2. An Unexpected Encounter Continuing their journey, Arbor and River made their way through the magical forest following the path that they believed would lead them to the hat seller. As they navigated the dense foliage, they relied on their wits and the guidance of the forest creatures they befriended along the way. One day, as they ventured deeper into the forest, they stumbled upon a curious sight. A mischievous goblin sitting on a rock wearing an oversized hat that nearly covered its eyes. Intrigued by the unusual creature, Arbor and River approached cautiously, hoping to learn more about the goblin and its peculiar hat. Hello there, Arbor greeted the goblin, extending a branch in a friendly gesture. We couldn't help but notice your wonderful hat. The goblin, surprised by their sudden appearance, quickly adjusted its hat and eyed them suspiciously. Who are you? It demanded. We're Arbor and River. River chimed in, taking a step forward. We're on a quest to save our friend, the hat seller, from a villain who has captured him. The goblin's expression shifted from suspicion to curiosity. A hat seller, you say? I happen to know a thing or two about hats. Myself. It then proceeded to share its story about how it came to possess the oversized hat that now adorned its head. As they conversed, Arbor and River found the goblin to be both witty and entertaining. They quickly realized that they shared a common goal to protect the world of hats and those who appreciate them. With a newfound sense of camaraderie, the trio decided to join forces. Combining their strengths and knowledge to rescue the hat seller and put a stop to the villain's nefarious plan. Chapter 3. A Cunning Plan 
now a trio, arbor, river, and the goblin, who introduced himself as Griswold, journeyed together. Growing more and more determined to save the hat seller with each passing day. They shared stories, riddles, and jokes, each of them contributing their unique perspectives to the mission at hand. As they neared the villain's lair, Arbor, River, and Griswold knew that they needed a plan to rescue the hat seller without alerting the villain to their presence. They decided to use their unique talents and backgrounds to their advantage. Arbor, being a walking tree, could blend into the surroundings and remain unnoticed. While River's knowledge of the terrain allowed them to navigate safely through any treacherous landscape. Griswold, being a cunning goblin, had a gift for trickery and deception. With their combined skills, they devised a plan to infiltrate the villain's lair Arbor would use its natural camouflage to approach the lair and scout. The area, River would find a hidden path that led to the hat. Seller's cell, and Griswold would create a diversion to draw the villain's attention away from their rescue attempt. As they set their plan in motion, each member of the trio focused on their respective tasks, trusting in the others to do their part. Arbor silently crept closer to the lair, its bark and leaves blending seamlessly with the surrounding trees. River, relying on her keen senses and knowledge of the land, searched for the hidden path that would lead them to the hat seller's cell. Meanwhile, Griswold set about creating an elaborate ruse that would send the villain on a wild goose chase. The three friends' unique abilities and unwavering trust in one another formed the perfect team, and they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in their quest to save the hat seller. Chapter 4 The Daring Rescue with their plan set in motion, Arbor, River, and Griswold moved quickly and stealthily. Arbor's reconnaissance provided vital information about the villain's lair, including the location of the hat seller's cell and the guard's patrol patterns. River discovered a hidden passage leading directly to the hat seller's cell thanks to her exceptional navigation skills. Meanwhile, Griswold's diversion worked better than they could have hoped. Luring the villain and his henchmen away from the lair and buying the trio precious time. Taking advantage of the villain's absence, Arbor, River, and Griswold made their way through the hidden passage, hearts pounding with excitement and fear. They reached the hat seller's cell, and to their relief, found him unharmed, albeit weak and disoriented. River picked the lock on the cell door with ease, using a makeshift lockpick fashioned from one of Griswold's spare trinkets. As the door swung open, the hat seller looked up at his rescuers with gratitude and relief. With no time to waste, Arbor scooped up the hat seller and carried him on one of its sturdy branches, while River led the way back through the secret passage. Just as they were about to make their escape, they heard the villain's booming voice echoing through the lair. Realizing that Griswold's diversion had been discovered, the trio hastened their pace knowing that they needed to get out before the villain and his henchmen returned. As they emerged from the hidden passage, Arbor, River, Griswold, and the hat seller sprinted towards the safety of the forest. With the villain's enraged shouts growing louder behind them, they knew they had narrowly escaped capture. 
as they disappeared into the forest, the four friends breathed a sigh of relief. Knowing that their daring rescue mission had been a success, at least for now. Chapter 5. The Hat Seller's Dilemma. Arbor, River, and Griswold successfully infiltrated the villain's lair, stealthily making their way through the dark and twisting corridors. They found the hat seller locked away in a small cell, tired and frightened but unharmed. With great care, they freed him and began to make their escape. As they made their way back towards the entrance, the hat seller explained that the villain had captured him to force him to create a special hat. One that would amplify the wearer's power to control others. The hat seller had tried to resist, but the villain threatened to destroy his entire village if he didn't comply. Touched by the hat seller's courage and determination to protect his people, Arbor, River, and Griswold vowed to put an end to the villain's evil plan. Together, they devised a strategy to confront the villain and save not only the hat seller's village but also the world from the villain's malicious intentions. The friends moved forward with renewed determination knowing that they would need to work together to outsmart the villain and save the day. Chapter 6. Unraveling the Truth Arbor, River, Griswold, and the Hat Seller confronted the villain in the heart of his lair. The atmosphere was tense, but our heroes remained united and resolute. The villain sneered at them confident in his ability to bend others to his will using the power-amplifying hat he now wore. As the battle commenced, Arbor used its strong branches to create a protective barrier around the group, warding off the villain's energy blasts. River charged at the villain with her immense speed, her thick hide deflecting the oncoming attacks. Griswold, utilizing his magical abilities, conjured a shimmering shield that absorbed the villain's powerful strikes. The villain, growing increasingly frustrated, unleashed a massive energy blast aimed at the hat seller. Arbor and Griswold combined their powers to hold back the devastating attack, giving the hat seller the opening he needed. Driven by his desire to protect his village, the hat seller revealed that he had secretly sabotaged the hat, making it vulnerable to destruction. Seizing the opportunity, River managed to snatch the hat from the villain's head and, with a powerful chomp of her mighty jaws, crushed it to pieces. The villain, Realizing that his plan had been foiled, fell to his knees in defeat. With the villain subdued, Arbor, River, Griswold, and the Hat Seller were ready to celebrate their victory. But just as they prepared to leave the lair, the villain uttered a chilling prophecy. You may have stopped me, but the real danger still lurks out there. The mother and son duo you befriended are the ones who will bring destruction upon this world. Confused and concerned, our heroes exchanged glances, wondering if there could be any truth to the villain's cryptic warning. They knew that they must stay vigilant and ready for whatever new challenges awaited them in the future. With a mix of joy and apprehension, they returned to the village, determined to face whatever dangers lay ahead, together.